This is how to fix no sound output problem on Windows. Let's go and head down here to our search and look up settings and open it up. Now that we have our Windows settings open, we're going to head on over to system right here. On the left side, we will press on sound. And here you will find two sections, the output section and the input. Here it will say a choose your output device. I have quite a bit here. But for you, it might be only one or two. It depends if you have your headphones connected or if you have speakers connected, also your monitor audio as well. So you have to navigate through here to see which one of these is your output device. Once you find an output device that you're comfortable with and it still doesn't seem to be working, we're going to head on over to Troubleshoot right here. We're going to have this run for a little bit to see if it tells us anything. And for example, for me, if I was having any issues with my output device, it says I'm missing some important updates, so you might have to install that. But basically, run the troubleshoot and read through here and take any precautions that you think will help. Also, another thing that you could do is go down here to manage sound devices. Well, and here will be a list of all your output devices that you have connected or have connected in the past. So let's say I wanted this to be my output and I wanted to test it, I would have pressed on test and it will give me a little chime. And if you hear that little chime, your output device is working. We're going to head over to app volume and device preferences, the bottom right here. And on here, it might be an issue for you. One of these could be connected to a completely different speaker. So we're going to go ahead and press on the output, which is the top right here and then make sure it's on the correct output. That's how to fix no sound output problem in Windows.